Welcome to Getting Started with ECCAD for HVAC Session 2. In this session, we're going to look at adding piece numbers to the duct and also doing some duct manifolds or spools as a prefabricated item to go out to the job assembled. So in this session, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to number our duct. So to do that, you're going to be on your home ribbon and you're going to go to the pull down under duct number tags. Here you want to select duct part number. When you select duct part number on the command line, it's asking do you want to attach or detach the number. And I'm going to, of course, want to attach. So I'll just hit enter. Now this brings up my duct number dialog, which gives me a lot of options. First option here is what do I want to number? I have several options here to number duct with a window. I do a duct run, a duct run with branches, a duct branch, or a duct branch with branches. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it set to duct run with branches. Now, what fitting shapes do I want to number? Rectangular, round, oval, I've got those all set to true. Fitting status, I want to number all the fittings except I don't want to number purchase, so I've set those to false. We can come in here and say we want to start with a system here and give it AHU number one. What is my start number going to be? I want to start with part number one. Do I want to override any existing numbers? And what's my minimum digits I want to use? I'm going to say three, so my first piece is going to be piece 001. What type of frame do I want to put the number in? So here I have choices of many different types of frames. Do we want to sort the duct? is set to true. That means when it looks down the duct run, it's going to find the like pieces and give them all the same numbers. And place tag we want to have set to true because we want to have it place that tag automatically. In the special here for cap, tap, couplers, and adapters, if this is set to true, it's going to give the object the same number as the piece of ducts it's, it's attached to. So I'm just going to simply hit OK, and now I'm going to go ahead and just touch onto my piece of duct, and that's added my part numbers. And if I come in here and look, you'll notice these are all part number ones because they were identical pieces. So now we want to go and we want to move to do the uh, manifolded uh, assembly of the duct in my shop. So as I come over here, I'm going to go to my load catalog pull down, and I'm going to select my fabrication palette. I've selected my set fabrication palette to dock over here on the right hand side and I'm going to go up and touch onto my uh, root here and I'm going to right click and say I want to get a new category and now I'm going to rename that new category and I'm going to say this is going to be AHU-1 supply. So that's the folder structure I want to use. Now I want to go ahead and pick the duct that I want to manifold in my shop. So I can either come down here and hit my define, or I can right click on the folder and hit define here. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want to pick these two pieces of duct along with this tap. And if you accidentally piece, select a piece you don't want, you can hold the shift key down and reselect it and that will turn it off. So now I've decided I'm going to build these in my shop and cut my tap in and send those out as an assembly to the field. So I'll come over to this now and say, okay, I've, I've set those up. I'm going to go ahead and now hit enter to accept that. And now you can see it created me AHU1 supply 001. I'm going to say I want to generate that folder or that file. And now I want to come in here and I want to open that file. So when I open that now, this has opened up my template for me here. And you can see here, I'm in a viewport. I can just move this duct around any way I want. If I want to change the view of it, I can just simply hit my view cube and move it around. I'm going to rotate it back over here. I'm going to move that duct up a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And as I make it smaller, you'll notice the numbers are all disassociated with the parts. All you have to do is just come right up here to duct number tags and click onto that command and it's going to reassociate the numbers to the parts. Then you can click onto the part, the number and grab the intelligent grip and just move that wherever you want it. It also has up here my fittings listed. My part number 10 is the tap, the size of it, the length of it. Here's my pieces of duct listed here. 
But now if I wanted to come in here and say, I want to add my dimensional information to this manifolded piece to know where I cut that tap in, I can just come right up here and say duct dimension all, and that adds my dimensions here onto my uh, duct run, and I know now where I need to cut that tap in. And that will conclude this session of the Getting Started with ECCAD for HVAC. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.